With the world's transition to electric cars advancing at incredible speeds, vehicle manufacturers all around the world are striving to increase supply. Tesla looks to be in the lead, having launched a slew of vehicles in quick succession. The Tesla van is now a reality. Elon Musk, the visionary entrepreneur, has announced that the Tesla van is now a reality. Tesla has long wanted to add an electric van to its ever-expanding future EV fleet, but only if the batteries are available. The electric vehicle, according to Tesla's master plan, carries passengers via Elon Musk's future underground tube networks. I know you'll have a lot of questions such as when this thing will come. Is an electric van comparable to a Cybertruck? Tesla designs and produces electric vehicles, battery energy storage systems ranging from residential to grid scale, solar panels and solar roof tiles, as well as associated goods and services. According to 2020 survey results, Tesla sold the most battery electric vehicles and plug-in electric vehicles, accounting for 16% of the plug-in market and 23% of the battery electric market. It has subsidiaries such as Tesla Energy, a significant installer of solar systems in the United States, with 3 gigawatt hours deployed in 2020. Tesla Energy is regarded as one of the leading global suppliers of battery energy storage systems. According to 2021 rumors, Tesla has four automobile models, the Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Model Y, which may be interpreted as sexy. It appears to be creative, doesn't it? This is why Elon Musk is regarded for being amusing and inventive. So to recap, Tesla's first automobile, the first-generation Tesla Roadster, is no longer available for purchase. Tesla, on the other hand, has plans for a second-generation vehicle. A Roadster, a semi-truck, and a pickup vehicle known as the Cybertruck, in 2015 and 2016, the Model S was the best-selling plug-in electric car in the world. By the end of 2017, it was the world's second best-selling plug-in electric car with 200,000 units sold worldwide. What is the rationale behind the recent surge in interest in electric vehicles? It came following President Biden's intention to electrify the entire U.S. government vehicle fleet. The decision to obtain the automobiles from an American manufacturer was the primary basis for that statement. According to some reports, the Tesla van dubbed the futuristic-looking vehicle would arrive in 2026. Elon Musk confirmed this during Tesla's fourth quarter results call. Musk wants to avoid a minivan with a typical design. Therefore, the 2026 Tesla van might be influenced by a specific contentious truck. His primary goal is to maximize interior and cargo room, which may be possible because of the floor-mounted battery pack and longer wheelbase. Several reports have surfaced regarding the designs of the Tesla van, one of which was a new plan allowed by the San Bernardino County, California states, which would contain a 12-seat electric van. This was announced as part of a local transportation agency-approved proposal to pursue Elon Musk's boring company's build to build a new high-speed tunnel. However, no additional details regarding the boring company's electric vehicle were revealed. For its transportation system, the tunnel construction company was compelled to rely on existing Tesla vehicles. The big question here is why Tesla's vehicle production has been halted. Musk was asked about Tesla developing an electric van in a meeting following the publication of Tesla's quarter 4 2020 earnings. Following numerous recent announcements from other businesses into the manufacturing of EVs such as the GM Rivian and Ford. I think Tesla is going to make an electric van at some point, so the thing to bear in mind is that there is fundamentally a constraint on battery cell output. If one is not involved in manufacturing, it's really hard to appreciate just how hard the scale of production is. It's the hardest thing in the world. Prototypes are easy. Scaling production is hard. As a result, Battery availability is essentially the limiting issue in bringing electric vans and other vehicles to the market," said Musk. Although Tesla is working with its production facilities to boost the number of accessible cells, Musk seemed adamant that Tesla intends to get as many battery cell supplies from other manufacturers as possible. This year, Tesla plans to reach 10 gigawatt hours of production capacity at their 4680 cell pilot plant in Fremont, and by the end of next year, they expect to have deployed 100 gigawatt hours of production capacity in Berlin and Texas. Musk discussed two additional categories that Tesla is trying to electrify in Tesla Master Plan Part 2. In addition to consumer vehicles, there are two other types of electric vehicle needed, heavy-duty trucks and high-passenger-density urban transport. Both are in the early stages of development at Tesla and should be ready for unveiling next year. We believe the Tesla Semi will deliver a substantial reduction in the cost of cargo transport while increasing safety and making it fun to operate. While speaking with Joe Rogan, the CEO stated that, given the architecture of the van, it may be beneficial to outfit it with solar panels. Equipping any of the Tesla's current available vehicles with solar panels 
would significantly increase the cost of the vehicle while providing little value to consumers who would pay extra for the option, according to the company. The problem is that the majority of passenger vehicles don't have enough surface area or are not driven in the appropriate environment to enable the installation of solar panels or economically viable solution for an increased driving range. Some have tried this in the past with DIY projects, but it hasn't resulted in much effectiveness to justify it as an option for Tesla. In contrast to other types of vehicles, a van is significantly larger and the style of a Tesla van is considered to be a huge van with a flat surface on top. An electric vehicle equipped with solar panels may be practical and helpful because of the greater space that could be conveniently accommodating the solar panels. Musk also said, now a van because you have a big flat area that's actually where the solar could start to make a little more sense. You know, because you have a lot of areas. You could also have maybe a roof where it's solar, and then when it's stationary, the roof goes out and provides shade, and maybe triples your area or something like that. Now you triple the area and you have a big flat surface, you could maybe start charging enough where you start getting like 30 miles a day. The cost of the vehicle is another important factor to take into consideration as well. Elon Musk stated that the battery itself costs 60 to 70 percent of the total car cost. What strategy does Musk intend to employ to fix this situation? As previously stated, Musk intends to manufacture his battery cells shortly. Instead of utilizing regular lithium-ion batteries, the business plans to build its lithium-ion mine and a tablet battery to replace the typical battery cell in the future. These cells make use of a cobalt which is restricted, scarce, and expensive resource that adds to the high cost of electric cars. To address the lack of batteries, he would attempt to use lithium-ion phosphate technology, which would be more energy efficient than cobalt. In comparison to conventional batteries, lithium-ion phosphate would deliver six times the power and require around 350 fewer components. If it's successful, it'll help to alleviate the current market scarcity of batteries for electric cars. While growing Tesla's battery output may be beneficial, Musk has stated that the company would continue to purchase all of the battery cells it can from other manufacturers in the meantime. As a result of these better techniques, Tesla is working hard to complete its ambitious mission. Be sure to press the bell icon, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on the latest Tesla news. By doing so, we may expect that Tesla will be able to manufacture the battery cells that they require, which is the only thing standing in the way of the production of their next projects. Tesla already has a strong product lineup that has had a significant influence on the public. So that's everything we have to say about the upcoming Tesla van launch, and we hope we have answered almost all of your questions about it. What do you think of Elon Musk's ideas and the Tesla van that he has built? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below.